That's it. Wayne, I'm leaving this message with Marcy in case you come looking for me. Though I pray you don't. The military took over the hospital, and everything's gone to hell in the city. Things here, they're... It's bad, Wayne. People are dying every day. And most of the time, all we can do is watch and try to make them comfortable. One of the other nurses told me she heard a radio signal that sounded like you and the boys. I don't know if it's true. If you're still out there. But we've got a way out. And I'm going to try to find you. be able to pick this.
Slim. You got that look, like you jonesing for something. What are you? You never seen a ghoul before? Don't worry, I ain't gonna bite you. That's just the pharaohs. So, you looking to buy? You mind if I use your workbench? Sure, why not? Maybe take that into consideration when you're thinking about what to buy.
was ugly anyway. Hey, personal. Just you or me. You think they got out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. The heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. You finished tearing the place up now? Hey! You all done killing each other? Why don't you come over here, show us you don't mean no harm? Look, whoever's out there, we were rooting for you the whole time. So you want to talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just going to bash on my theater some more? Why don't you come over here, show us you don't mean no harm. Come over here, show us you don't mean no harm. So you wanna talk this out like civilized folks? Nice. Or are you just gonna bash on my theater some more? You finished tearing the place up now? You finished tearing the place up now? So you want to talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just going to bash on my theater some more? Look, whoever's out there, we were rooting for you the whole time. You finished tearing the place up now? You finished tearing the place up now? You finished tearing the place up now? So you want to talk this out like civilized? Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline. A hundred plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in and we became a more exclusive establishment. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. I saved your lives. You should be grateful. Grateful? For killing our meal ticket. Excuse me if I don't rush to embrace our savior. They weren't the friendliest bunch, but keeping those idiots entertained, at least kept the lights on. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. Oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? No, you know what? 
I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? Why do you ask? Consider it... professional curiosity. Now what'd you think of the fight? I've seen better. Ha! Like hell you have. And while she's still armed and within closing distance, you are a brave one, aren't you? So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract. She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. a girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, Tommy. Don't know how long it's gonna take to get butts back in these seats. So damn quiet in here now. I can almost hear myself think. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I dunno. Feeling kinda useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? I just want to trade a few things. What am I? A bank? Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it.
me know if you want me to No way I could pick this. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Coward high. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Warmed up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. City's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. What? Who are you? What's that? You said you're a traitor up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the generals for a month? You hear that, Danny? You know, you open the gate and let us in, or are you the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Well, that was a whole lot. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the Green Jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. We'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, for that parts. Ooh, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Swore I heard something. Mayor McDonough? One second, sir. Hi. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I got what newspaper are you message. talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. I tried to read a newspaper once. But I couldn't find the funny pages. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right?
What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you! Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop on my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Hi. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Excuse me. Hey. What's up? What a day, huh? Welcome to the, uh, Great Green Jewel. You'll totally love it here. Don't you have, like, important things to do? <clears throat> Nothing more to say. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing. Sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. What's your take on Diamond City? It's safe is what it is. Diamond City's got the best security anywhere. I'd like to think I have a hand in that. But I was asking about you. Come on, just need to jot the reason you're here down in the logs. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey. I don't take bribes, okay? No. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? If we're looking for some action, I'm betting we'll find it here. Hey there. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall, if you want a history lesson. I gotta check a few things first. 
We'll talk later. Anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you have. What do you sell here? Oh, everything. Uh-huh. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Sure. Let's take a look. Hey there. We'll talk more once I get settled in. Hey, sweetie. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents. Stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the Commonwealth. So what are you looking for, huh? Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. 
What's the Institute do that's got everyone so scared? You mean besides making the synths and using them to replace people? Or that they live in the shadows and no one knows how to get to them? Everyone in town is afraid of being replaced. Or that someone they know isn't human anymore. So don't expect people around here to jump up and down looking to help you out. What are synths? The Institute has been making them for years. The old ones are sort of human looking, but you can tell they're robots. You see a bunch of them out there in the Commonwealth. I heard they murder whole towns and carry what's left to who knows where. But their real danger is in the newer models. Sins with real flesh and blood and guts and everything. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. If his business card isn't shaped like a heart, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm definitely sending you to the right place. Good luck, mister. Hi. I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. Today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Uh, <clears throat> You ready for that interview now, Blue? <laughs> I'm not a vault dweller, but all right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway. I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next.